Hi, Air Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you your monthly reading for the month of May 2020 for all Air Signs. Please take the time to timestamp down below. I really appreciate it. As well as thank you so much for all the likes, all the subscriptions, and as well as all the donations for the GoFundMe. I really appreciate it. I know times are tough, and I do appreciate it to help support my channel. So let's get started. We are going to start off with Aquarius. I've been feeling... Uh, you know, been drawn to do Aquarius first. So I feel kind of bad because I think I've been doing a lot more of the Gemini and Libra ahead of you guys. I always feel bad. So today we're going to start off with Aquarius. So let's get started. 10 card spread, five above, five below. I did clarify. Uh, I did pull an outcome as well as two clarifiers for that as well. So let's get started. You first start off with the two of coins. All right. So I don't know why they changed the words on these things. Confuses me. Uh, the two of pentacles here. So that's a decision to be made. She's literally turned looking towards the past here. Somebody is making a choice, a decision, I feel. Okay. Uh, they are going to have that change. All right. In regards to the death card here, literally turned uh, in regards to the seven of swords. So the seven of swords to me, first things first, is a lot of stress. All right. They're going to change the way that they're thinking, okay, as well, all right? They, they kind of gave it up to the um, to the universe here in regards to an Ace of Cups, all right, which is a new start of love here. Somebody has definitely been kind of closed off in regards to the King of Cups energy. Cool dude, loving dude, does represent water. You could be dealing with water, but it does tend to hold back. Now, the other message is, is that the Seven of Swords is known for that Deceit is such an ugly word, but it is. It's kind of like an holding back in regards to how exactly do they feel. You know, I feel that somebody seriously, whoopsie, wants to open up, all right? They're making that choice, that decision to have a change and open up exactly how they feel in regards to having a new start here because they weren't, all right, is what that tells me. They've been very closed off. They've been working on their bounce too. You know, you can't make a decision when your mind, I always tell people, you can't make a decision when your mind is mush. You got to get that bounce back in to figure things out, you know. Uh, but they've been waiting, all right. They've been waiting for their bounce here in regards to their past, what to do in regards to their past. Because they're really stressed out with the seven of swords and then right after that, the devil. So, I feel that they got in their mind too much, all right, and that's why they closed off, all right, uh, but they walk, they're walking away from that, and they're becoming that queen of swords. They're regaining their bounce back in, hence why, you know, they're looking towards their past, basically, to have this change, to be able to open up, because they know that they got closed off here, and they've been waiting in regards to the past here as to what to do. They did get in their heads, I feel. They did hold back, expect, ex you know, especially how they feel here, but they had to walk away because they got too much in their head is what this tells me. And I feel part of that change is working on them and getting their bounce back in. Okay. They're still doing it because you got the temp temperance here could be dealing with a Sag here, but that's waiting. Okay. Patiently. All right. Uh, clarified by the two of swords. So I feel that you see how her energy is turned looking. So there is going to be a decision right now, but the blindfold is still on. So you have to wait. I know that sounds terrible, but you have to keep being patient. That's part of that, you know, twin flame soulmate relationship, a, a meaningful relationship here. You got to work on you. There's so many different steps here in regards to getting accomplishing that relationship that you have to, you know, they're trying to work on them. So just be patient. Okay for their decision to be made to offer that cup of love, okay? And I do feel that somebody, opposite person, the person who uh, is not, who, who wants this relationship, okay? I feel like you have to be more patient with this. I know it's tough to hear that. But I feel that they are going to be making a decision. I feel that, you know, you don't know the person who is kind of, not receiving that love, okay? It's kind of like, I'm patient, I'm patient here, but when is this going to happen? You know, that question mark there with that two of uh, swords there, you know, to receive that cup of love. They're coming, you just have to be more patient in regards to this, okay? They're still working on them, all right? All right, so let's, uh, please excuse the 10-year-old running. <laughs> and the water going. All right, so let's uh, do Gemini. All right, so hope Geminis are doing well. Please take the time to timestamp down below. My goodness. 
All right, let's get started here. Uh, Gemini, you got the Four of Swords, the King of Wands, could be dealing with Fire, Leo, Aries, or Sag here, the Moon, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the World card, the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Lover's card, there you are, standing in your power, uh, and the Chariot, nice. Outcome, uh, Two of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles, ooh, yummy. All right, so something came to a completion here, all right, with the World card, but right above it is the Four of Swords. So, you know, I feel that they're no longer in the dark is what I'm feeling here. Somebody's looking at the situation with that King of Wands. King of Wands takes action. That wand act is action, okay? Literally looking over, thinking about this person, uh, put their mind at ease kind of thing, thinks about what to do in regards to closing that chapter with the world card here, uh, of getting out of that dark phase, okay? Seeing the truth here. And I feel that somebody now is going to be making, thank you, a decision. There you are. Standing in your power, Gemini, uh, making a decision in regards to this relationship or the counterpart is, okay? Take what applies. And offer that apology. Offer that pinnacle up to somebody through that communication, all right? After quite a, a long time. Uh, it's opposite of my phone, but it is heading towards the future. So that's a good sign there. There's definite movement here with the chariot. I feel, I mean, look at her, right? She's turned her head looking over. Somebody wants movement in regards to this meaningful relationship, okay? Uh, definitely getting your wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups. This is what they want. This is what they groove, Gemini, uh, is a wish fulfillment here. They've calmed their mind. They ended that mental anguish. They ended that in the dark kind of thing. They want movement is what this tells me. They want a new start, okay? Something very fiery, very passionate. They're not just holding it, that wand. They're using it, you know, with that ace of wands, okay? Here's the outcome. Relationship with the two of cups does represent to me soulmate, but whichever, you know, kind of thing. There's movement now with the Six of Swords there. In regards to communication, I'm feeling as well, they just said. So Swords does represent, you know, they moved away. They had to move away, I feel, in regards to this relationship. To move forward, to get their balance, that's exactly what I was feeling. So they came to that completion, that closure, okay? They healed their mind. They rested their mind. They got their balance, all right? So I feel because of that, now they're going to be moving forward, okay, in regards to getting completion, fulfillment, a balance in regards to a relationship, long time coming. So that's what I have for the sign of Gemini. I hope that helps, guys. That's good news. Everybody's uh, card has been coming up, standing in your power. All right. Let's do Libra, my sister from another mother. All right. Libra, what am I doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you again for all the concern out there for the good old gold bladder too. I appreciate that. All right, so let's get started. All right, Libra, you got the five of swords clarified by the wheel of fortune. Woo, you guys have been through it. Uh, yeah. uh, the strength, the three of wands, the justice. There you are, standing in your power again. I just said that. Eight of wands. Uh, the Page of Wands, oh, the Hermit, somebody's thinking about making a decision to communicate, wah, 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 could be using, or could be dealing with a fire sign as well with that wand action there. Oh, there's some serious action going on. Uh, you got one, two, one, two, I thought I saw another one. Three. Wow, Libra, what in the world? Lots of messages coming in. Hang on. All right, we're going to do you first here. I feel that somebody has definitely been through this cycle. You got five of swords clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. It feels like a roller coaster that you've been going on emotionally in regards to your thoughts. Which way do I go, George? You know, do I go left? Do I go right? You know, you go straight, you know, in regards to getting that back because you got the power. You know, you got that strength. And you've been trying to stay strong with the strength card here. It does represent Leo. Uh, but you've been waiting, all right? You've been waiting, but you know what? I feel that you've been trying to work on you with the strength here and trying to stay strong, all right? Uh, because that three of wands is waiting, looking out, you know, waiting, but you're looking over at that strength, all right? In regards to your mindset here with the five of swords, learning these lessons here, and you don't expect this communication 
is what that tells me. The head is turned away from the from your own power here. It's kind of like, nope, I'm never going to talk to them again. Nope, never going to hear from them again. Hello. It's coming out of nowhere with the Eight of Wands here, right? And that's that's powerful. Uh, with the Eight of Wands and the Justice, that is so communication. All right, moving on in pretty swiftly, I feel. Somebody is trying to, I'm feeling decision. There it is. That's why, duh. There's the decision in regards to what they've been thinking about, and they want to heal the situation. Like I said, could be dealing with uh, fire, Leo, Aries, or Sag, with not just the two of wands, but the page of wands as well. There's a lot of passion. You know, they could be getting a little rammy-pammy, you know, in their panties. <laughs> Where did I get these words from? Anyway, uh, but yeah, there's a decision in regards to... <laughs> In regards to what they've been thinking about, they've been thinking about communicating. You see how there's that star in there? That's healing. That's getting their wish fulfillment. So they're making a decision, a choice, I just heard, in regards to, you know, it's one thing to think about it. They could be manifesting. They could definitely be pondering here in regards to communicating. So what are they going to do? How wild is this? Two pages. Page of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Okay. Literally turn looking at each other. There's communication coming in, Libra. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling here. It's going to bring, there could be an apology. I just heard an acceptance too. Wow. So somebody is accepting this apology. Somebody is taking that offer of balance brought back into this, okay? But definitely been through a cycle. Long time coming. All right, with the Knight of Wands. More fire. Could definitely be dealing with fire, Leo, Aries, or Sag. They got a lot of, you know pep in the step for you, Libra. But I feel that they've been pondering about, uh, I feel that there was some type of fight and it's been a long time coming, all right, uh, for that apology. Something definitely came to a close, but they also feel, what I'm feeling is that they just want to end the, you know, you know, the fight, the energy of the fight here, okay? Uh, they just want to end it and they don't know how you're going to take it is what this tells me. They also feel this connection as well with the high priestess being that 11. So, you know, they don't know. It's one of the, one of the unknown is what she's known for here, but they want this fulfillment of balance brought back in. Okay. So it almost feels like, whew, somebody was in a big turmoil in regards to their mind. They've been really going through it here, but they've turned their focus in regards to the strength for themselves. They've been waiting, you know, it's funny because they, you know, I feel that they definitely kind of gave up hope. They're not looking. They're t not turning their head, looking at that sun. That sun is, you know, positiveness and 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 looking out, hopefully, you know. Instead, they took that time to work on them, whether that be you or them, okay? They don't see this communication come, or the opposing person does not see this person coming in, all right, and communicating is what I'm feeling. I was feeling these two people have a, a telepathic connection going on. <laughs> it's kind of cute energy. It's kind of like, I hear you. Well, I hear you too. <laughs> it's kind of like the weirdest thing. Energy here. Yeah, that, that's what it is. It's a telepathic. Look at that hermit looking over at that page of, of wands here. So somebody could definitely be hearing somebody's thoughts through telepathicness. That's such a word. But yeah, that's what it feels like. You can get multiple um, messages with cards here. So that's definitely. Um, but yeah. But I'm also feeling that they are making a decision in regards to healing some such a situation here. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want the tension. You know, fives are known for changes as well. You do have two fives here as well, regardless if it's in the spread or the outcome. So that's a completion. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles. They want to make nice, nice, is what this tells me. So I'm almost feeling, I know I already said this, but they don't know if they are ever going to be able to get that total bounce back in through this communication, but they're offering. And I feel that this person is going to hear them out. Okay, think about things. I do feel this person is going to take them back, though. So that's what I have, not just for Libra, but for as well as all the air signs. I hope that helps, guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Click that uh, bell on the side. 
like, subscribe, and share. As well as thank you so much for all the donations for the GoFundMe account. I truly appreciate it. I know times are tough. It does help support my channel. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great month, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.